Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um, I wasn't going to vlog today because I just I get the impression it's going to be really complicated uh, because the, the video that I'm filming today and tomorrow is vlog style. So in theory, I'll be vlogging myself vlogging and, it's, and there's lots of cameras involved and I feel it's going to get very complicated. Then I thought that could be funny. So um, that's the plan. So it is time check 6.34 a.m. Very early uh, in the studio, as you can see. Just about to make myself a coffee. I haven't got that long because I need to get on the road. Um, if you've been watching this vlog uh, quite a bit recently, so I'm, I try to do two things at once, I'm not very good at that, obviously. Um, you'll know that I have this very, uh, very expensive BMW i5 M60, which I've got for a week. Um, it gets picked up on Friday, it's Wednesday now. So I've been driving it around for a few days. Um, the, the reason for having it though is to do something with it for the channel, obviously for the, for the, for the uh, reviews channel. So I'm taking that car and also an e-bike, which is in the boot, um, and some other stuff, which is also expensive, like this expensive watch, I, iPad Pro, S24 Ultra, which I need to charge. I need to charge that phone. Um, that's the whole point of this video. Um, uh, how much percentage have we got? Twenty-one oh, percent. Okay, well that adds some jeopardy to the to the video. Um, so yeah, taking all of these expensive things basically up north to see which one is the most annoying to keep charged. The phone might win because I'm an idiot and I left it off charge overnight but anyway again that adds to the video doesn't it uh it's a bit of a silly one there's not really any point to it it's not really helping anyone buy anything because it just isn't um but it's fun it's different um and i think like i've said before I, i'm not the sort of creator who can just make the same video again and again and again from behind a desk nothing wrong with the people that do that but I can't do it personally, so um, I need to mix things up a bit. And we're definitely mixing it up with this because, the, so the first part of this journey today is to go up to Manchester uh, and go to Manchester University where I've been invited to some kind of open day thing. Not sure why, lovely to be inv invited. It's, it's to do with the new tech thing that's opening there. So we've tied that in with this trip because after Manchester, I'm going slightly back down further south into what looks like a very lovely part of the UK um, to stay in a shepherd's hut. Um, stay overnight in there, which I've purposely not looked at, so the, you know, the team have booked it. Um, stay overnight in there and then tomorrow leave there and just find somewhere to take that bike on a bit of a ride and then come home and make a video out of that. The big difference with this video is that it's gonna be the first Marcos Reviews video that I've not edited. So Niall is getting the edit on this, which I'm looking forward to because, I'm sorry mate, but I'm gonna come away from this with so much footage and piecing it together to make a coherent story will be a right laugh. Anyway, so coffee, get all my stuff, get in the car. I don't know how I'm gonna vlog this today, guys. So uh, bear with me. Okay, let's show you what I'm taking with me today, or today and tomorrow. It's um, it's a fairly standard kit list, to be fair. It's no different to what I've done previously, really. Anyway, cheers. It's coffee, obviously. Didn't need to explain that, did I? Uh, right. Let's not drop the coffee on the floor. So, we have the main vlogging camera for the two days, which is the Sony ZV-E1 with the Sigma, always forget, 16 to 28 millimeter lens on it, and the Sony mic. DJI mics for when I'm in the car doing stuff to camera. I probably can't shoot this vlog in the car like that on the thing because I need to think about the main video, but anyway, that's fine. Um, 24 to 17 lens as well, just in case I need that for some, some B-roll. Although we shot, if you watched the previous vlog, I think, uh, you'll know that we shot most of the B-roll for the car yesterday so or the day before so that's good um the other action cam uh, a quad lock phone case which is very useful for the bike some batteries a uh, charger boring stuff all goes into this case carbon fiber tripod even though i don't really need to keep 
the weight down because it, I've got a car. Um, that's it, basically. And the, the, the things I'm test testing uh, battery-wise is the car, the e-bike, my Garmin watch, and the S24 Ultra, and the iPad Pro, the new one. The iPad Pro, I've just realized, is in the car, in my bag. I've got no idea what charge it's got. So again, this all adds to the jeopardy, doesn't it? Um, anyway, I need to drink this coffee because I'm just dead on my feet already, way too late to bed last night. Um, there we go, it's one of those, one of those weeks, really. Um, but yeah, then hit the road. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so very quick trip update, 10.28, I'm, I'm in Manchester now and I'm in stationary traffic trying to find a parking space or just a car park, anywhere to park this car. Uh, I've got about 30 minutes before I need to be at the university. The filming is going okay, actually, for this video. Um, doing the vlogging and this at the same time is a bit weird, but um, yeah, this is my current view. Managed to get the car into that space. It's a really long car, this. Does stick out quite a bit. Anyway, I need to get to Manchester. It's not even Manchester University. It's one of the universities in Manchester. It's Arden University. No parking there. Traffic in Manchester is a nightmare. And it's pouring down with rain. <laughs> Joys of being a YouTuber. Why, whenever I start filming, does that happen? Um, the weather has genuinely been okay in the UK over the last couple of days. Now there is a, there's a bit of a, um, uh, what's the word? Uh, oh God, what is the word? <laughs> there's, I was going to say rumour, rumour is the wrong word. There's a belief that it always rains in Manchester. And I'll be honest, every time I come to Manchester, this happens. So I'm, I'm kind of inclined to believe that. Um, anyway, I am seven minutes away from the university, which is perfect. It means I get there at 11 o'clock. I'll just get there wet. I have no idea what to expect from this today. This is a, it's, it's a bit of a, it's a, it's a kind of little stop on the way to this thing that we do, I'm, I'm doing tonight at this place that I'm staying at tonight. So, I, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I have no idea what this is going to be. It's an open opening of a new tech centre or something and yeah, we're getting a tour around. I don't know, no idea. I'll try and film whatever I can, though. Feels like we're getting near a university-type territory. It's down here, apparently. I'm not moaning about Manchester. It's just so wet and horrible today. <laughs> This is it. Lots of people here. I, I genuinely don't know why I'm here. If you can even hear me. Um, there's a ribbon cutting over there to open this place. Um, yeah, uh, I, I don't know what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting it to be quite this busy. And there's lots of people who seem to know each other. And you've got some guy from Leamington Spa who runs a YouTube channel reviewing smartphones who's just rocked up soaking wet um, this is gonna be interesting remember a little while ago I filmed a video where I went to another event where I, I wasn't sure if it was worth going it turned out to be worth going this one we'll see I like that. Got a cake at least. Could play a bit of pool, a bit of foosball, sit on a bean bag. I don't know why I'm here guys, I'm, I'm going to level with you. I said yes to this, we've worked it into this video that I'm doing with that car. I don't know what I'm doing at this thing. Literally, you know as much as me. I'm going to eat this cake. Dedicated to fostering knowledge of innovation, she joined this 
I've had to make an executive decision to leave. Uh, not for any bad reason, just because... I, uh, yeah. I watched the cutting of the... You know, the ribbon thing and... Cutting of the cord, that's been different. I watched the cutting of the ribbon and um, a speech by some some very important people from, the, from this university. And then the, everyone started disappearing. There's supposed to be a tour, but I don't, that didn't seem to happen. I couldn't find the person that invited me. Um, not their fault, it's very busy. And it, it, we said yes to this. Now, if I'd done this without doing this video, so if, if we hadn't planned this video with the BMW coming up here, this would have been a waste of time. But again, it's not the fault of Arden University, it's the fault of me not looking into it properly and trying to work out what it was all about. Um, that is the first time though that I've been to something and thought, I don't really need to be here. I can't offer them any value. I've put something on Instagram, but it's not gonna help them really. Um, I was just, I, I made up the numbers and that's fine for, for them, but not, not the best use of my time. Anyway, uh, lesson learned. <laughs> what a weird job I have. Um, now, time check, it's 11.38. There's some very nice coffee shops around here, although I've already had a coffee quite recently, but who cares. Um, so I might just stop and do a bit of work on the iPad, uh, because that is part of this battery test, I need to start using it. Uh, then jump in the car and head south, ironically back towards home, although not to home, um, to this, well, I think I might stop somewhere for something to eat first, and then onto the place that I'm staying at tonight, which is where things are gonna get quite interesting. Coffee done. Still raining. I do feel a bit bad for leaving that thing. I did the right thing for the business. Again, why why do people just start shouting and stuff when you start filming? Why does that happen? Um, <laughs> so grumpy, aren't I? I'm not grumpy at all. I'm fine. Um, what was I saying? So, yeah, uh, I do feel a bit bad. This Uber Eats guy is going to keep shouting at me. I do feel a bit bad for leaving that thing, but I did the right thing for the business. And that is what matters. So if Arden University, if you're watching this, nothing personal. I thought I'd completely lost where the car park was, but on the BMW app, you can find your car. So if you're an idiot like me and you forget where you've parked, you can just find it on the map. That's clever. Not that clever, but it's, it's useful if you're a dork. There she is sticking out oh no that's not that's not mine i thought it was this one it's not it's this one here still sticking out though it's um it really is an imposing car anyway i now need to i've got to pay for this parking but because i'm shooting this video i don't want to pay for the parking and then get in the car and do the video stuff in there and then find out the parking has expired or something so i'm gonna do that weird thing where i have to go and set the camera up in there do that thing where it looks like i'm getting into the car with the camera rolling do some bits to camera and then go and pay for the parking and then leave the things we do as youtubers okay time check it is 1 30 p.m i'm now sat in an mns bp garage <laughs> waiting for a charger to become available so i've got 26 ish percent remaining on the car and uh, the destination if i go to the destination from here i'll only have 12 12 percent remaining in the battery and i'm not risking that because it's in the sticks a little bit um, i have found a bp pulse charger over there but both stations are occupied obviously so um I can't do anything but wait, and it's a B, it's BP Pulse, which is quite fast, and it's the kind of charger that I need. Um, there aren't, I don't think there's that many around here, other than this one. So this is the challenge with EV ownership. I'm afraid you do have to do this. Um, in terms of today's video, I mean, it's been a weird morning because of the that strange university thing, but um, I am, I feel like I'm on the way to the the proper destination now. Um, and the, the filming is going well, but it's a bit of a mixture between shooting on the the other. Um, DJI Osmo Action 3 here and as I showed you earlier the trusty ZV-E1 which is such a good camera um, so I've got kind of I'm going between the two which is going to be interesting for the edit although I'm not doing the edit on this one this is for Niall as we know so um, he's gonna have fun with that um, lots of different footage on different things but that's fine we can that's all part of the game really so I keep looking for these for one of these cars to leave surely when when you come and park a bit in a, in a like a petrol station or a in this case just a pet 
literally just a pet no service station or a petrol station in this case surely you get you, you're not here all day are you it's a fast charger as well so I'm, I'm hoping fingers crossed they just get their 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 bit of charge and and move on so i can go and use it but um this is a bit annoying <laughs> This is slightly irritating. Uh, the vlogging side of things for this, I, I, I'm th I think I'm doing it right. I keep worrying that I'm picking up the wrong camera to do, to do the vlog on. The key with this, if, if you're wondering how, how I'm doing this, I, I resolutely use this camera and just this camera for the vlog, nothing else, um, which means all of the footage on this camera is today's vlog, which means the, the kind of organization of the footage afterwards is a bit easier. Um, weather update. Absolutely horrendous, which doesn't bode well for tonight. Although I think that the place that I'm staying at does have a roof. <laughs> it's not a tent, thankfully, but um, it, it, I'm sure it'll be fine. But this weather's horrible. It makes everything ten times harder. When it's raining, I can't shoot outside with that camera, really, because it's not waterproof. Um, and it's, you just get wet and everything gets messy. It's just horrible. That's the end of the, um, the weather moan. Definitely. I thought, but it's not, though, is it? Let's be honest. Good news, I've managed to get a space. The only problem is that I had to park on the wrong side of the charger because the charging port is on the other side of the car, which means I've had to do this. I think that's fine. It all looks all right. Yeah, it's no problem at all. Absolutely fine. Uh, anyway, it's fast charging, really fast charging, so that's good news. And uh, yeah, I just need to wait about half an hour. I should have enough to charge it, I think. Time to go and use the facilities, which you don't need to know that, sorry. Okay, just had a, a call with the team. We had our, our normal uh, video planning meeting. Where can I put you? You're not gonna balance on there, are you, in a million years? Um, yeah, normal planning meeting with the team. I thought I wasn't gonna join that, that call just because I thought it would be tricky to do so, and they can often do it without me, which might sound weird, but they can. Um, and then I thought, no, I'm currently sat in this pub car park. The reason I'm sat in this pub car park is because I thought I, bet, I better feed myself up. So I've had a big late lunch in that pub, which was very nice. Um, and then I thought, no, I'll do the call. And then I realised that all I'm doing really is just delaying the inevitable. And I do just need to go to this place. Uh, the weather, I don't want to keep going on about it, but I will. It's just, it hasn't stopped raining. It doesn't look too bad on there on this camera, but trust me, it's horrendous. Um, it hasn't stopped raining all day. Anyway, time to go. Hopefully. It does make a brilliant noise when you start this car. Uh, right, how far have we got to go? So, dest I'll show you. Destination input. Uh, recent destinations. Make sure my house isn't on there. No. Uh, there we go. So, 33 minutes, and when, when I get there, the car will have 66% remaining. That's okay, I can deal with that. That will get me home tomorrow, I think. Um, okay, let's do this. Okay, so obviously lost. Um, just checking the car, because it, they, that was, it wasn't off-road, but there was some serious tight bends and stuff. I was very careful with it and it all looks absolutely fine. But that was, uh, it dealt with that road amazingly, to be honest. Such a big car, it was, felt very comfortable going around those roads. Just wanna make sure nothing's, no, it's all fine. Um, I've now got to find this place that I'm staying. It's, um, it's around here somewhere. I don't know what I'm getting wet now. Why am I doing this? Let's uh, get back in the car. <laughs> Uh, it's a lovely place. It's just a shame about the rain, really. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to stop moaning. Uh, what have I got to do? Um, I've put the postcode in. There's a metal sign across from the property saying Dan Lee Moore. This is the entrance directly across from the driveway to Glen White House. Okay. Keep looking. Please stop raining. Please stop raining. I found it found my location for this evening. I need to go inside in a second. <laughs> Look at this. It's much 
much better than I was, I was expecting. I was expecting literally a shed. But um, no, I mean, firstly, the view is stunning. Even in this weather, it's lovely. That car did a stunning job getting down here. Um, but yeah, let's go inside. Let's do the tour. It won't take long. Okay, so bed, chairs, no chaise lounge, but um, yeah, chairs. We've even got a, take my shoes off. I feel like I need to take my shoes off in here. Nice rug, kitchen area, just clean this lens, kitchen area. Oh, who, who left that there? Uh, sink, running water, power. There's power, all of this, loads of other stuff. <laughs> Soap, exciting. Um, loads of stuff, a big rabbit, a DAB radio, kettle. There's even, you know, I, I've stayed in quite a few nice hotels recently and I do the whole, are there snacks thing. Normally there's either no snacks or there are snacks and you have to pay a fortune for them. Here, either whoever stayed here last, left them here or whoever owns this place i'm sure they're lovely anyway but they're, they're really lovely because we have some stuff we have some snacks we've got some sprite nice some flapjack some oh fish and chip crisps burton's fish and chip crisps i remember those uh more flapjack more fish and chip crisps there we go that's dinner sorted um yeah i mean do you washing up here look out at the view They've done well. My team have done very well picking this. Um, anyway, I need to just get stuff sorted out. I'm halfway through filming this video. I need to do a bit more in here, I think. It's going quite well, I think. I have no idea, actually. I, th I think it's going well. Um, but yeah, this is my, um, my abode for the evening. Okay, that's the filming for today done. So I've got my, my little um, temporary A-roll set up here. So camera, tripod, lovely natural light which i yeah, forgetting the the weather for the moment and this was the angle so it's roughly like this which you'll see obviously in the in the video that comes out fairly soon um so yeah so that's today's shooting done which is nice you know it's nearly seven o'clock now um i've decided to split this up into two days so shoot today the shoot today was was based on getting down here you know the, the experience of driving the car down here and then talking about those three three devices um and tomorrow's filming um will focus on the car for which we've done a lot of the b-roll so there's not too much i need to do with that apart from walk around it if the weather <laughs> if the weather isn't like this i'll walk around it and talk about it um vlog style again <clears throat> Uh, and the bike. The bike is the bigger job tomorrow, really. Um, I've asked Niall to find find something near here, something resembling a kind of cycling route that I can just do something something with. Um, but again, I won't do a huge amount of stuff on the bike um, tomorrow. Just enough to fit to round off this video, and then a conclusion about what was the what you know, what was the easiest thing to keep charged. I'm sure you can guess what it was, what it is. I mean, I'm I'm pretty much although I'm, I'm only fifty percent of the way through this this trip. I think I know what it is. Um, but yeah, so that's that's today's shooting done. Um, as I say, seven o'clock. It's a real, I don't want to keep going on about the weather, but I know I do, but it is a real shame it's not nicer out there. You know, if it was a, a beautiful evening, imagine that. Imagine that now with the sun setting and the drone uh, stuff I could, I could get. There's no way I'm flying the drone today. Probably not tomorrow either. I think it's similar tomorrow. Um, I can't moan. I mean, the one nice thing about this is that it is, I can't access anything. I can't access the internet. There's no phone signal. I can't ring anyone. I can't phone home. I did my phoning home, you know, good night thing at about three o'clock this afternoon because I knew that I wouldn't have a signal here. So I'm, I am genuinely completely cut off from not civilization. There's a house over there, but I'm, I am cut off from the digital world, which is actually quite nice. Um, so in terms of what I'm going to do, I do have a DAB radio in fairness, but apart from that, <clears throat> what I'm going to do, I think, I've got some writing to do, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to write a blog post, um, and then, I don't know, I've got a book, I've brought, my, I've brought my, my Kindle, I might just read, and just chill out, 
and have an early night and try and get some decent sleep, which should be possible because I do have my earplugs. Do I have earplugs? Please say I've brought my... I do. I've brought my earplugs, which is good news because I think the rain is going to be quite noisy. Um, but yeah, this is a lovely little thing, isn't it? I think if you came away as a couple or something, I think it's it would be... I mean, there's no shower. And I, I, without going into too much detail, the toilet out there is it's very clean, but... <clears throat> It's a composting toilet, which I'd never heard of until this trip. Um, I won't explain what you have to do with it, but just if you, but don't Google it, don't Google it. But it, it's, it doesn't. You, you don't flush anything. You have to do something else. When, yeah, uh, I won't go into any detail, but uh, th there is that. You know, small price to pay for a bit of, you know, a bit of getting away from it all, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, this is me now for this evening, and actually. I'm going to sign up. Shall I sign, sign up this vlog here? No, I, I might come back later and just tell you what I've done later on. Yeah, let's do that. In the meantime, I'm going to chill out for a bit. There's been a few times on this vlog where I've said to you, I have to, I, I just stop sometimes and think, what am I doing? Is this actually my job? I've had several of those occasions, or those moments, since I came to this hut today. I mean, hands up in the comments if you if your job sees you doing stuff like this, where you end up basically in a shed, a lovely shed, a beautifully appointed shed, with an amazing view out there, on your own, writing a blog post about iPads. When I started this, this this channel, this business, four years ago, I didn't think it would end up here. Um, I'll tell you what, though. This is a nice way to get writing done. I've got no, Normally, I, I have my headphones on. I've got Brain FM going and whatever. But just sat here with this iPad, which is a very... Um, uh, it's a, there's no distractions with this. It's a distraction-free writing experience on the iPad because it's just... And also, there's no. I'm not getting any notifications because there's no internet access. So it is, it's, it's about as... Yeah, about as distraction-free as it goes. But having that, the rain... The, you know, I, I've been moaning about the weather all day today, but the weather tonight is perfect for what I'm doing. It's peaceful. It's natural. I'm getting all I'm I'm getting all hippieish now, aren't I? But it's it's just this is the way to write. I can see why people have writing retreats where they you know proper you know authors will go go out into the wilderness or into the jungle or into the not jungle, but I've heard of people do that doing that. Uh, people that basically they, they go out into the sticks, into a little hut like this or a little cottage, with a great beautiful vista, and they just write write for for a week. I can see why people do that. Yeah, this is such a weird life, isn't it? Time check, it is 9.35. I have closed off the world. I've shut the curtains because it's just not stopping out there at all. It's just, it just is what it is. I'm hoping that tomorrow's a bit better. Uh, the, the one downside plus, uh, downside slash upside of not having an internet connection is that you can't check the weather so it is a bit of an unknown although I did check briefly earlier and it didn't look great it looked a bit better than it has been today so all I ask weather gods is that when I wake up it's not raining even if it's just not raining that's fine it just means that I can I can actually fly the drone get a bit of drone footage of this area which will be handy for the video um and just have a coffee out there without being pelted with rain. <laughs> that would be lovely. If, and that's it. And then maybe keep, stay dry while I'm doing the, the bike ride and that sort of stuff. That would be fantastic. Um, yeah, what else can I say? The antlers are a bit weird. Um, not sure how, how I feel about those kind of above the bed. A bit strange. Uh, but... No, it's a it's a lovely little place. This uh, I will will put the details of this place down below in the in the description. Niall, I'll leave that to you 
we'll stick it stick it down here because the people who own this have done a very good job. Um, that's it, guys. I, I'm going to sign off this vlog now. Again, I mean, I don't normally have much of an idea of what I've recorded, what what I've filmed throughout the day because I just forget when I've picked this up. You know, yeah, you know, I forget the last time that I picked this up and what and what I said. So, and I certainly can't remember what I said this morning. The challenge, yeah, you know, the, the thing that has kind of made made it even more challenging today is the fact that I'm shooting a vlog style video. So I'm shooting a vlog style video and vlogging behind the scenes as well. It's very complicated. Um, but it's made made slightly less complicated by the fact that I'm using a separate camera. So that is my my one piece of advice. If you want to be, if you're as stupid as me and decide to do something like this for a living, um, that is what you need to do. Use have one vlogging camera. In in this case, this one. Anyway, I'm reading a book. If you're interested, it is The Power of Now, by. Do I dare try and pronounce this name? Eck Eckhart Eck Eckert Eckhart Eck. That guy. Um, it's interesting. It's a little bit hard going, to be honest. But I, I like the I like the idea. He says, throwing his Kindle around. I like the idea of being in the now. I think, like like everyone, I'm just not everyone, but like most people, I am just always thinking about the past and the future. And I'd I'd love just to be present sometimes. I I have been present here. This has made a difference. Anyway. It's time to finish a bit more of this book and go to bed. Uh, guys, thank you for watching this. I think we'll pick this up tomorrow. As in, I'll vlog this tomorrow as well. I'll vlog tomorrow as well. Um, because it could be interesting. It will be interesting. As always, guys, if you've got this far, thank you so much. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe if you haven't done already. And tell your mates. See you next time.